Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Huzzy account where it's not gone well today. Um, we unfortunately have been demoted to Diamond 4, which is a bit embarrassing on this account, considering I think at the beginning of the week, maybe, we were Diamond 2 on this account. But yeah, I don't know. Just hasn't been a good week on the, the Huzzy account. Uh, we're playing Anivia, though, just kind of, you know, sticking to my one of my best picks. We've actually got a 100% win rate in three games on this champ. Uh, we're against uh, three AD carries, which again kind of does show the still the state of AD carries. Uh, one trick Yorick against a one trick Trindamir player that thinks that they can play something else, but they're obviously trying to cheese pick. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go well. Uh, Roo Rune? I might have butchered that, but hopefully I didn't. Five months with Prime, appreciate it massively. Yeah, the last game was not on me. I, I We played Kale. I won lane against a Yone. Legit got pretty damn fed. And all four of my teammates got gapped. And they just didn't let me get to level 16. I was like level 14 and a half. And they just kept fighting, even though we were weaker. And it just did not give me time to get to level 16. It was so annoying. Are we doing Ying Yang? So Ying Yang, think of like the Ying Yang emblem. Are we invading this side and they're invading this side? Also, Ignite on Akshan. You don't see Ignite much anymore in mid lane. The heck? Huh. No idea. We've not seen any of them. I am the last. Okay. Oh, are you doing a level 1 cheese mid? Again, I hate the people that do that, but I wouldn't mind if it helps my lane. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So I've played against a lot of Akshans. A lot of them always play very cocky. Ow. Especially when they're against a mage like Anivia, because again, everyone just knows mages suck, so they always try to play really far up and in your face. And usually I actually end up getting solo kills on them. So basically the ticket to beat something like an Akshan it's going to sound really obvious. Don't let the mortar attack you. And I know people who go, oh, that's the best advice in the world, Huz. It, yeah, it's true, though. Like, that's how you have to beat something. Like, if you let him auto attack you, you're never going to win it as a mage. Your auto attacks do nothing. Their auto attacks do billions of damage. You're never going to outtrade that. So you need to land your abilities and don't take an extended trade that they can start auto attacking a lot. He's also got PTA. This rune has been overbuffed in the early game and it does a stupid amount of damage. And for him to proc that, he needs to land auto attacks. So it goes back to the base foundation of don't let him auto attack. Just don't even take, like, if you miss your Q on a Nivea or whatever, your CC if you're playing a mage, just don't take the trade. You know, you've missed your CC. That's how you kind of do damage. Just don't go for it. What happened to the stickers? What do you mean? That missed. Um, bro, are you lost? Are you asking for directions? Like, go south the bot lane. You missed your exit. And obviously, a lot of supports now have played very wi Why is there a pink ward? Who put that down? That's 75 gold that's just going to complete waste in the early game. Hmm. I do hope this Yorick absolutely annihilates this smolder, by the way. Oh. And do that trade. Don't let him keep going because he's going to out-trade me. Got him on the ropes. Oh! I think I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Damn. My I didn't realize my team lost the fight. Damn. I did not realize my team was losing that. I thought we were winning that. It's a shame. 
I don't know, where did I try and get that random shield from? I'm trying to, like, I, he has a shield in his kit, but I don't remember where it's from. What the heck? I've got literally no mana. Okay, I really would have liked that. <laughs> I really would have liked that. I need, like, people to help me push or something. Because like, I don't want to go back right now because he'll get a free tower plate. I could even gank him with Nidalee, you know. Thank you, Mr. Thrush. Good support player. So again, he's mid lane when it actually matters. That When Leona showed up in mid lane at level 2. Oh, nice. That was well played. They could even still get him. I have felt this corruption before. We got his flash. Why? Why does nobody help me push the lane? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Hey, I got the cannon. Oh, they really overextended in bot lane. Oh, Nidalee. Yeah. How is this game going bad? They have a Moomoo one like legit the weakest things in the early game. Ah, oh, they got Kaiser. And Kaiser is Dumbo. So I, I, I don't know if the, when I explained it earlier, if it made the cut of a video. Yes. If someone were to go to me, I want to climb, playing AD carry, what champion should I specialize in? Kaiser. Again, it's not even close. Kaiser is by far, by far, in when you combine her versatility, that she can go like three different builds. You can go AD or AP. She's not hard to play. She wins early game with even being a scaling champion for late game. She's crazy. Like, she's insane. So, yeah, if someone were to go, oh, what champ should I specialize in AD carry? Kaisa. Legit. Not even close. Not even close. Uh, so, really good that Yorick already got a solo kill. That, to me, is kind of a, an indication of what's to come this game. Because Yorick... He's not really supposed to get early game kills. Not really. So the fact that he's got one is quite good. Tried to wall before he got in range. That must have been like legit maximum range. I am neither the first nor the last. Ah, uh, no. Ash is very strong in the meta right now, but when I when I say to somebody, oh, you want to climb using one thing versatility in your pick is very important what the hell happened then and ash isn't versatile you know Something she plays ad carry in the same way every game and that's all she really can do playing ad carry kaisa can go on hit she can go crit she can go ap that's amazing for versatility she can fit in any comp Being, being able to fit in any comp is a very, very powerful thing. Because fundamentally... Ooh, oh, Twitch has got no mana. Fundamentally, every champion... Sh oh, God. You're getting killed solo by an Amumu. Legitimately, the higher rating you go, Amumu is known as kind of a joke pick. Because he gets invaded and gets screwed in every invade. And our Nidalee, who's an early game specialist champion... Is dying solo. Action's gonna end up with a free kill on that Twitch. I'm gonna push it, because again, I think Action's going bot, and if he's not, or if he is, then I get to get a plate, and I should get one anyway. But yeah, push it just to make him. Okay. If he was going bot, BF Sword, what are you going? Collector? And yeah, Ash is more dependent on teammates as well. Kaiser is less dependent on teammates. 
Okay, why is this Nidley doing so bad? That was an insane wall. Nidley's completely become useless. The player does have a 33% win rate on Nidley. Damn, that was a really good wall. Um, I think Nidley needs to calm herself down. She's level 6 to level 7. She needs to calm herself down and maybe get like a bot lane gank with a thrush hook lantern or something. She needs something good. It's like she was she started good and now she's died like three times in a row without anything good happening again. You need another good thing to happen. Sometimes when you're on a, a bit of a spiral, oh god, it's all going bad. You just need to get that one good thing. Gotta get that one good thing, and then you can kind of reset your mental. The Freljord awakens. Yeah, losing early game to an Amumu is um, rare, to say the least. I don't think I've ever seen an Italy lose the early game. Zoom in your camera! See, to hit that, you need to zoom in your camera and you would have been able to take the lantern. It's a little trick that not a lot of people know. Oh, really good spear. Good. That's something. Still technically not a positive situation because our AD carry still died, but it's something good for the Nidalee. She needed that. His action's not very good. So when, when he misplays and makes weird decisions of like eating straight into me, I can make use of that. We're, we're at this stage of the game, he should still be absolutely annihilating me with just autos, but if he makes a mistake, it opens me up to be more useful. And again, it's, it's the fundamental of like the AD carry mid kind of pandemic that's gone on recently is I need to play so much better than him to be equal. Because he just has to auto attack a bunch and he's really strong. I have to land abilities. Did the will go in this jungle? And yeah, all my, yeah, exactly. My abilities, when I have to land them, to, um, they all cost mana versus an AD carry that just has to auto attack. It's been rough for mages. I know Freak has, like, acknowledged that mages are bad. Um, but I, again, the, I think the problem that Riot's got about it is they don't know what to do. Like, that much, again, I, I will say, like, even someone, you know, speaking with a university degree in game design, it would be problematic when you don't really, like, there's a problem in your video game, you're like, what do we do? And you don't know what to do. Because it's not just like, you know, millions of players are kind of going on the balance of what you're doing. So, because if you, if you get it wrong, then the game state could be absolutely terrible for a while. Which again, some people would argue the game state is bad at the moment, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it's not an easy job, to say the least. Oh, action went top. Yorick kind of overstayed, but whatever. I will get a kill this game. A Mumu can't carry the game, that's one thing to know, so I'm not really scared of an Mumu. Which has kind of just been so weird of seeing him do well in the early game. Been a bit peculiar. Oh, this pressure. Oh, it was good trajectory, but it just didn't have the distance. Could be a javelin commentator in the Olympics. Don't overdo it, lads. Wait, does his stealth last 8 seconds? Ooh! 
it does. It lasts over eight seconds, apparently. So the one trick Trindamir player has been bullied out of top lane and now is laning mid. But Mumu's below me. Uh, there he is. He came out. What do you guys think, by the way? Um, I wait. Did I? What video did I tell the YouTube audience about my surprise holiday? Is that is that making a YouTube video? We've not been very productive. We've not been very productive today because it's not been a good day. So I don't remember which which games are actual videos or not. You haven't heard about it? Oh, basically, I'm getting a surprise holiday next month. Um, my parents and sister are going on holiday to Italy next month. And I, I knew about it, and I was like, oh, you know, they're going to Italy. Um, but, you know, you don't think much, much of it. Oh my god, his damage. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, th I knew they were going on holiday, and that you know you don't think much of it. My my, you know, my family's going on holiday. Fair enough. I went around my family house the other day, and they were like, "We want to ask you something." And you know, when your parents and stuff like, I'm like, uh "Oh, what happened?" Um, but anyway, they were like, do you want to come on holiday with us next month? It's like, we've already booked the place we're staying, so you don't need to pay for that. Uh, we've already booked the car. So like, you know, you basically, if you just cover your own flight, if you cover your own flight, which is a bit over £100, you know, we're covering the place that we're already renting. We've already rented it. Uh, we're renting the car anyway, so it's just pay for your own flight and you can come. And I was like, so it took it. It was a bit of a surprise. Uh, they did ask if Queen Pleb wanted to come, but it just doesn't work out well um, for a couple of reasons. One, look at people looking after Maya. The place that they've rented is actually not very big. So if Queen Pleb wanted to come, me and Queen Pleb would have had to rent, like, or go to a hotel somewhere else. And you know, we don't have. We, you know, we're trying to save for a wedding at the moment. So then doing that would have been a bit. So Queen Pleb just said to me, "He's like, you don't actually spend a lot of time with your family. You go." You have a nice time. Um, and I'll, the only thing I've said is I'm going to get Queen Pleb something because, you know, I do feel a bit guilty. Um, I think a handbag, right? An Italian handbag. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. He's got quite a few handbags, but like a more bespoke Italian you know, little land bag. Well, they got baited like a fish. Yeah, no. Where's the Yorick? Where are you running, you wimp? This Yorick's a KDA player, Jesus. Oh, it won't be Gucci, God no. It'll be like a more bespoke, like le like a leather shop that they kind of make their own things. Green Pleb is actually really not into like brands. Something ancient stirs. Your turret has been destroyed. Do, 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 do. Wait, there's actually six and one. That kind of is depressing considering how bad he's played, but the AD carry strength diff. 
And to be fair, I think the Nidalee has given... Oh, dude, I am really good at Anivia. I do not mind saying, like, when you're good, you're good. When you're good, you're good. Ah, uh, come on now. Why are you inting? Oh, that's ruined the Baron, because we have a split pushing Twitch. Split pushing Twitch and a Thresh just who went on walkies for no reason. That was weird. No, you made me get seen. I dream of errors past. The only thing that I'm looking to get myself, because again, I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on this holiday, because obviously I didn't expect it to have a holiday, so I've not budgeted for one, so I've only paid for flights, and that's cool. Um, I always get myself leather, leather bracelets, basically, wherever I go. I've probably got about 20 of them now, and I only really buy them when I'm on holiday. Um, and again, they're the type that, you know, is just from a little stall on the side of the road. They're nothing fancy. I just like them. He is sending Maiden a lot to split push. Huh. Oh wait, his name is Care About Ghouls. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't even notice it. He's a Yorick one trick. We could do it. We've got Maiden. And we got slowed. Why did they fight in mid? Why? Like, this Twitch is really playing terrible. He just needs to play basic and he can get carried, but he keeps making real. Well, he's on 112 farm. Oi, oi, oi. We've had some rough teammates in a few games in a. He's getting beaten up by Maiden! What's the plan, Batman? He's nearly died! Yeah, normally Yorick's are the one that act actively are split pushing. Like, they wouldn't be able to stop him. And no one on the enemy team can kill him in a solo right now. No one. Do not touch that. Do not touch it. Do not touch the ward. You touch... No, 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 no. If you touch that ward, you're letting them know that we're in the Baron pit. Do not touch the ward. They don't know right now. Okay, now they know, but it's probably too late. Yeah. Is mental go boom? Oh, my team is so bad. I ge oh, well, I've genuinely just got a really bad team. I'll upload this one because I played really good, but you, ugh, dude, today has just been bad. I've been had dealt with so many bad teammates today. Can't carry them. Four and eight Twitch with 116 farm. The hell. He's a Twitch one trick. Ah. <sighs> And the AD carry cheese pick top is more useful than the actual top laner. He just ulted. He just ulted to kill raptors. Cool. And that sucks. Which is just gonna get rage split push and die, you can see it. You 
you can just see it. It's given up mentally. What was that play, bro? Your bike. <laughs> Fresh just ran into them. I guess he's like, I'll buy you time. But the problem is, Kaiser's already back. And this Twitch is weaker than basically everybody in the game. Ah, man. We tried. I've done some really nice plays this game. Unfortunately, uh, Nivea is just not as strong as playing AD carries, I guess. Oh, I really don't want to play AD carries in mid lane. Right, it said that they nerfed it, but they're still stupid OP. AD carry top, AD carry mid, AD carry bot lane. Three AD carries on the enemy team. I'm trying, dude. We're making plays. Again, I'm actively... I can definitely tell I'm playing better than this Akshan. His champion is so much more useful and strong than mine. We're trying. We're trying. I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. Oh, I missed the stun. That sucks. Go, go, Power Rangers. Are we getting in here? Nice. That all started with me catching the action out. Cool. Gonna play good. Fundamentally, that is the baseline of what to do in League of Legends. Play well. If you play well, it makes everything easier. I actually will start doing good damage now because we've got our two. An ally has been slain. We've got our two core items. Um, now we actually can buy items that fundamentally do damage. Nice. And it's the, it's the biggest example of a Yorick I've seen. Like, he really doesn't lane with Maiden. It's, you know, it's efficiently getting, like, two lanes pushing at the same time, which is good, but it does make him himself weaker. Because he's not fighting with Maiden, you know? He's overstaying a bit. Think beyond one lifetime. Guess I just go bot. If I walk across action at the moment, does he kill me or do I kill him? I mean, it all, I legit think, depends if I land Q. If I miss Q or if he flashes it, yeah, I think he'll kill me. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, we've already reported him for anything. He genuinely is just running it down. Nothing you can do when you've got an Inter on your team nowadays. Especially when it's the, the AD carry, which is the strongest role in the game. Hilariously, if it's a top lane Inting or a mid lane Inting, it doesn't actually impact the game as much as an AD carry nowadays. I am neither the first. That's annoying. You need to look for like a pick or something. They're going to come over for Elder. They're base and then come over for Elder. We should be waiting for them and look for a pick.
Dude, I'm trying to carry this game so hard. I'm trying. I'm trying. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. Wait, why does she on yours? I'm trying. I'm covered. I wanted to like see if we could end. Oh man. Oh my days. Twitch died for no reason. Come on! <laughs> Come on! If I win this game, I'm ordering myself an extra gelato on holiday. And just revive two of the enemy. Uh. Uh. Favorite gelato flavor? Orange. Oh, orange. Orange is out of this world. We are so overextended right now. A thousand yeah, you keep like oh, why are you so overextended, Twitch, bro? I know you're in things, so you don't care, but I care. I've literally lost so many games today with people like this, Twitch. Oh, it's so annoying. I want to win. I'm playing well. But they just don't care. Can this guy stop taking kills on Thresh? He's timing stuff and his elder dragon buff is getting the kills. A tad annoying. Scratch me nose. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Can we win? If I'm carried this into, I'm happy because I win win. I'm sad because he's going to get LP. Maiden. Why is Twitch not here? Legit. He's not here right now. If Twitch was here with ult and killing towers, he'd potentially be able to kill towers before the enemy team spawns. Italy. Action is so bad. No, I can't do anything. Fresh tried to save me. I try. Oh, I should just play an AD carry. It sucks. They're just the least skilled, but like they just do so much more than I can do as a mage. Annoying, but it's true. 
This is buying us time. If the enemy team was smart, I think they would barrel down all together, but they're chasing kills. This is the Trindamir one trick aspect of this player. Just keep running. Oh, damn, if Yorick had TP. Ooh. I don't know if they do damage. Do you do damage? Oh, she does damage. Dun, da, 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 da. Let's go! I guess we should do it, or do we just go to end? No, I guess we do it. Because he, okay, it's crazy as it sounds. Even if a Mumu comes and gets this and steals it, we will kill him, probably. Again, he doesn't. We need to end! Oh my god, this Twitch is doing my absolute head in. He's gone that way, probably. This Twitch is just running it down, man. 14 deaths. Always alone. He just doesn't care. I know it's just a video game and all, but like, I still care. I don't know how people can play, like, and just not appreciate other people's rank at all. Sucks. They just had to catch me once and the game's over. I literally was the only thing that was holding us on, so. Couldn't do it. If this Twitch didn't in, I think it would have been a win, but I was just the absolute pillar that my team was holding on to, and they just the Moo Moo Flash ultis me. I die. Kaisa just follows it up with an ulti. Damn. I think that's probably game. Someone on my team has left. Uh, if Yorick didn't die there, but, you yeah. know. The Twitch has already left because he knows. Like, I know it sounds probably more incredible, but, like, to me, this is the type of game this Twitch should just be banned. Like, this guy doesn't want to play the game. So, if he doesn't want to play it, get banned, and then at least you don't have to play it, you know? We tried. I really tried. If you guys appreciated the effort, throw a like on the video. But people like this Twitch are literally the reason that people hate solo queue. It's legit. Legit. It's not the issue with low diamond, it's the issue with solo queue. I get the same people when I'm up in diamond one and master. To be honest, especially AD carry players. But the problem is, there's again, three roles that are now playing AD carry actively. So there's more people like this Twitch. I just don't know why he entered. Like, I legit don't understand. Oh, well, we tried. If you guys enjoyed, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. regime I know how to unleash eternal